Welcome to 5G Benchmark. In the previous video we tested the QDP P5 with the stock antennas and today we are taking things a step further. In this video we are going to unleash the full potential of the QDP P5 by pairing it with the Pointing X POL24, a high performance 4x4 MIMO outdoor antenna. We will compare the signal values, run extensive speed testing and see how much real-world performance improvement you can get when upgrading from the stock antennas to a proper external setup. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at what the Pointing X POL24 actually is and why it can transform the performance of a router like the QDP5. This whole package was kindly provided by Satshop.fi, the candy store for mobile network enthusiasts. They have routers, antennas, cabling and accessories from all major brands. And the best thing is that they have international shipping. You'll find link to all equipment used in this video down below in the description. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at what the pointing X POL24 actually is and why it can transform the performance of a router like the QDP5. Now let's take a closer look at what the pointing XPOL24 actually is. The XPOL24 is a unidirectional cross-polarized 4x4 MIMO antenna designed for both 4G LTE and 5G networks. It operates across an extremely wide frequency range starting from 617 MHz all the way up to 4200 MHz, covering low band, mid band and high band 5G spectrum in a single enclosure. One of the key highlights is the high and consistent gain performance. With around 8.5 dBi on the lower and mid band ranges, and 11 dBi in the 3.3 to 4.2 GHz region. That level of gain is significantly higher than what typical outdoor routers can achieve with their compact internal antennas. Physically, the antenna is quite substantial. It weighs 2.5 kg. This means you will need a sturdy mounting point, but it also ensures long-term reliability. There are two versions of the XPOL24, one with SMA connectors and one with N-type connectors. In this video, we're using the N-type version, which is typically preferred for lower loss and more robust outdoor installations. So overall, XPOL24 is engineered as a high-performance wideband outdoor antenna with real 4x4 MIMO capability, consistent gain across all major 5G and LTE bands, and robust construction for long-term outdoor use. Now let's take a look at when an external panel antenna like the Expo L24 can offer better results compared to a typical outdoor 5G router. The real outcome always depends on your location, distance to the base station, and the surrounding environment, so not every benefit applies to every installation. Outdoor routers rely on small internal antennas, and these tend to perform less effectively on low frequency bands like B20, B28 and N28. These are the bands that usually provide coverage in rural areas or at long distances from the base station. In these situations, the XPOL24's physically larger antenna elements can provide a stronger and cleaner signal on these lower bands simply because the antenna has more gain. This doesn't automatically guarantee huge speed increases, but it often improves stability and reduces fluctuations in weak signal areas. Outdoor routers can only be mounted at the one spot, and in many installations this is perfectly fine, but in more complex environments, for example, where you have trees, reflections or several towers nearby, being able to aim the XPOL24 accurately can help the modem lock onto the intended base station more reliably. 
Again, the improvement is often seen in more consistent SINR rather than dramatic speed jumps. When NSA relies on a mix of low, mid and high frequencies, the performance of an outdoor router's internal antennas can vary depending on which bands are active. XPOL 24's wideband design offers more even gain across the entire frequency range, which in some setups helps the modem maintain more CA layers or hold them more consistently marginal conditions, especially when the aggregation spans widely separated bands. In good signal areas or when the outdoor router is already performing consistently, the difference may be small, but in more demanding environments this antenna can provide a more stable and predictable connection. Now let's take a look at what comes inside the box when you purchase the Pointing X POL24 antenna. The first thing you'll find is the user guide. Next is the antenna unit itself. And as you can see in the video, it's a fairly large piece of hardware, especially when compared side by side with something like the ZTE MC889A outdoor router. This size isn't cosmetic. The version we're using here comes with N-type connectors, which are sturdy, weather resistant and generally preferred for outdoor installs where cable runs might be longer or more exposed to the elements. Then we have the mounting bracket. This bracket is designed for both wall and pole mounting and it gives you a decent amount of adjustability. You can rotate the antenna horizontally and vertically, which helps you fine tune the direction toward your serving tower. Finally, the box includes the mounting hardware, the bolts, nuts and tools needed to secure the antenna to the bracket and lock it in place. Just a reminder about cables. Here we're using very short top quality cables. For your own setup, always do the same. Good cables and minimal length. Otherwise the antenna's gain can be lost before it even reaches the router. Now it's time to put everything together. First the cables are connected, then the mounting bracket is attached to the antenna and finally the whole setup is placed onto the stand, ready for alignment and testing. Next couple words about the wiring setup, because this part can be a little confusing. The XPOL24 has four independent antenna elements, each with its own connector. To take advantage of all four streams, you need to connect each of those cables to the matching antenna ports on the QDP5. The main antenna ports are antenna 0 and antenna 3. If you're using only two cables for a basic 2x2 two two configuration. But with all four cables you connect the two cables from first cell to antenna 0 and antenna 3. And the second cell cables to antenna 1 and antenna 2. This gives the router access to all four MIMO streams which is necessary if you want to see the full performance potential of the antenna. 
Let's jump into the field tests and see how much difference this antenna actually makes compared to the stock antennas on the Kudi P5. For this setup the XPOL24 has been mounted on a stand outdoors and the next step is simply to connect the antenna cabling to the router and start aligning the panel toward the serving base station. With directional antennas like this alignment really matters. Even small changes in the angle can have a noticeable effect on the signal values, so it's important to take a moment to fine-tune it properly. We're using three familiar test setups to show how the XPOL24 performs in different real-world conditions. The first location is 1.5 kilometers from the base station where we have a mix of low band and mid band 4G and 5G frequencies. Next, we run a standalone 5G test at 6.5 kilometers using mid band and high band 5G frequencies. And finally, as a new scenario for this antenna, we test a truly rural base station at 7 kilometers, operating only on B20 which serves a large geographical area with limited capacity. When comparing the signal values between the XPOL24 and the stock antennas on the KDP5, the difference becomes clear right away. The external antenna provides noticeably stronger RSRP and cleaner RSRQ, and the improvement becomes even more visible as we move toward the lower frequency bands where the smaller antennas typically struggle the most. While the exact results always depend on the location and the conditions, in this test the XPOL24 consistently delivered a much better signal profile than the stock antennas. So how do these signal differences actually translate into speed? Let's take a look. Starting with our usual NSA test site, the overall signal conditions here are already quite good, but even in a strong signal environment the Kudi P5 paired with the XPOL24 manages to pull ahead of the stock antennas. The download speeds show a small improvement while the most noticeable gain appears on the upload side, where the external antenna provides much better performance. Next, let's take a look at how much difference it makes to use all four external antennas compared to just two. We first ran the normal setup using the full 4x4 configuration and then repeated the same test after disconnecting the second pointing cell on the Kudi P5 to simulate a 2x2 setup. The result showed that the download speed did drop, but not dramatically. What stood out more was the latency, which increased noticeably when running in 2x2 mode. This wasn't just a one-off spike, it was a consistent effect across multiple runs. Moving on to the long-range standalone 5G test, this is one area where the XPOL24 shows a more noticeable advantage. Even before running the speed measurements, the signal values were already clearly stronger and more stable with the XPOL24, and that naturally helped the download performance as well. The biggest improvement again appeared on the upload side. In this setup, the Expo L24 delivered higher peak upload speeds and a more consistent uplink, performing better than the previous devices tested at the same location. This makes sense for standalone 5G, where uplink is often limited by signal quality rather than bandwidth. We also tested the impact of MIMO by dropping the second cell and the speed drop was immediate and quite significant. This shows that on higher 5G bands, having a proper 4x4 MIMO antenna 
really does matter overall. The s 8 demonstrate that in challenging long-range installations, the Expo L24 can offer a more stable connection and stronger uplink performance compared to using the stock antennas. And last, we have the rural base station test at a distance of 7 kilometers. Here we can clearly see one of the common challenges with rural infrastructure. Even though the XPOL24 delivers excellent signal levels at this distance, the base station itself is extremely congested, as it serves a very large geographical area. Because of that, the download speeds remain very low, and this isn't caused by the antenna. It's simply a limitation of the base station. However, when switching to the upload test, the performance improves noticeably. The uplink isn't as congested and we actually see higher upload speeds than download speeds, which is a typical sign of a heavily loaded base station. Across all the tests, the XPOL24 provided a more stable connection in weak or long distance conditions. Low band and mid band signals were noticeably cleaner and more consistent than with the stock antennas, which helped reduce fluctuations when the tower was far away. We also saw a clear benefit in upload performance. The stronger uplink signal from the Expo L24 allowed the modem to maintain higher and steadier upload speeds in both NSA and SA tests, which can make a real difference for everyday tasks that depend on reliable upstream throughput. And in more complex NSA setups that combine multiple bands from across the spectrum, the wideband design of the XPO L24 helped the modem hold those combinations more consistently. That led to fewer drops in carrier aggregation and a more predictable experience overall. So while results always depend on the environment, the XPO L24 delivered a steadier signal, better uplink behavior and more reliable performance in mixed band NSA scenarios. That wraps up this comparison between the QDP p 5 stock antennas and the pointing XPOL24. Hopefully this gave you a clearer picture of where an external antenna can make a real difference and when the stock setup or outdoor router is already enough. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing to the channel and if you have questions about your own setup or want to share your results, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.